it was really a shock to the community. And shortly thereafter, after the hospital closed, Berkshire Health Systems, the largest healthcare organization in the county, reopened that North Adams emergency room via a court order. Hi there, it's WAMC News Director Ian Pickus. And on this episode of the WAMC News Podcast, the complicated past and the promising future of North Adams Regional Hospital. Ten years ago, the news came suddenly. North Adams Regional Hospital in the northwest corner of Massachusetts was closing immediately. That set off a scramble for patients and an unsuccessful local effort to keep the full-service hospital open. Now, a decade later, Berkshire Health Systems is reopening the facility. And to set the scene, I'm joined by two WAMC reporters who saw both the closure and its rebirth. Associate News Director Jim Lavoulis was Berkshire Bureau Chief at the time, and Josh Landis is Berkshire Bureau Chief now. Jim and Josh, thank you for being here. Thanks, Ian. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. So, Jim, we'll start with you. Uh, Remind us of what the situation was like back in 2014. Yeah, there had been um, inklings that there were financial struggles for the parent company of North Adams Regional Hospital. Um, But really, the announcement that the hospital, its main entity, would close came in just a, a few days' notice. And essentially with that, 500 people were out of work in a city of, of 13,000. Um, and it was really a shock to the community. And shortly thereafter, after the hospital closed, Berkshire Health Systems, the largest healthcare organization in the county, reopened that North Adams emergency room via a court order. Um, and you had a whole slew of state officials coming in, federal officials. You had Governor Deval Patrick at the time coming in to essentially get uh, their sense of what's, what was happening on the ground. Um, and then there were different community uh, entities trying to step in. For instance, the Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts in North Adams said, hey, we're going to open up our clinic to the public, you know, to try and fill some of that gap. Um, and slowly but surely from there... Uh, Berkshire Health Systems actually made the only bid for the campus, a $4 million bid in September 2014, uh, to buy the North Adams campus and began to uh, invest millions of dollars to to reopen uh, services there at that uh, North Adams uh, regional uh, hospital site. Now, Josh, how did we get to the point today where the facility is going to reopen as a full service hospital? This has certainly been whispered about and talked about for the last several years. Now it's here. Well, the most crucial change had to do with the federal critical access hospital certification. Essentially, for some time, it was considered under these rules that North Adams was essentially close enough to both Route 7 and Berkshire Medical Center, the the county's largest hospital down in Pittsfield, about 20 miles away, and as such didn't qualify as a critical access hospital. Changes to those designations have allowed for North Adams Regional to once again be a critical access hospital. So that that's paved the way for a lot of certifications to come into place that are allowing for this new expanded offerings to the North Adams community. Most critically, the the ability to have inpatient care. There are, there are 18 beds in the facility now that are going to be prepared to offer services to patients spending the night at the hospital for the first time in a decade. And we should just say here, you know, North Adams is a a small city. uh, So the concern had been over the many years that if you needed emergent care of some type, you would now be driving many miles to receive it. And uh, especially going south to Pittsfield or even to Great Barrington. Now, Jim, you did a number of stories after the closure uh, and followed the resulting uh, cases surrounding the hospital in 2014. How did people react at the time once the closure took effect? Yeah, a lot of people were adamant that as Josh mentioned, a full-service hospital needed to be reopened. Um, essentially, the hospital closed with a few days' notice, and then essentially a ad hoc coalition formed of a citizens group. A lot of people connected with the hospital called the North County Cares Coalition. They went on and partnered with the Massachusetts Nurses Association, which represented about 100 nurses at the North Adams Regional Hospital there, and they continually met 
and called for the return of a full-service hospital. Um, there were bus trips from Na- North Adams to Beacon Hill to deliver petitions. Um, it led to a state-commissioned report, uh, touches on what Josh mentioned, uh, that was released in September 2014 that found that an inpatient facility was feasible in northern Berkshire County only if it received that federal critical access designation, uh, allowing for increased uh, reimbursement rates. You also had, you know, the the county's largest health care organization, Berkshire Health Systems, stepping in um, uh, to fill this void. And you had a lot of leaders saying, OK, there we're getting some service back. They were maybe not fully pushing for the return of a full service hospital because they wanted to at least have something feasible there and some sort of uh, health care options there for folks. Um, but really, it was a it was a constant call for, no, we need a full service hospital. And a lot of times uh, those advocates compared North Adams to Gray Barrington south of Pittsfield and said, you know, listen, we're about the same size community. North Adams is even a little bit bigger. Um, but in terms of the demographics, Great Barrington, Southern Berkshire County tends to be a bit more wealthier. And it became sort of a, a class um, distinction there. Why do they have a full service hospital and we don't anymore? And that's uh, Fairview in Great Barrington. Additionally, people called for uh, some penalties for the uh, leaders of North Adams Regional Hospital that they should face some sort of consequences uh, that the hospital closed. Um, but it turned out the state attorney general's office uh, decided that uh, that uh, wouldn't be necessary, finding that uh, the individuals acted uh, within their, the, be- the community's best interests at the time and essentially did the best they could. So really, it was a, a big shock to the community and folks. Folks wanted uh, action taken, both penalties for the decisions that were made and also return to that full service hospital. Now, Josh, you have been in the hospital to check out uh, the facility, what it looks like 10 years later. Uh, What will the offerings be in 2024 and uh, what did it look like? Well, it was a brand spanking new renovation of, of a massive wing of the hospital where the 18 inpatient beds have been installed, used to be the ICU They've got brand new state-of-the-art equipment, you know, full service for every individual patient, you know, a a large bevy of technological options, all accessible right from each one of these inpatient beds. And, you know, it's not just that patients can spend the night, you know, to, to recover from rudimentary procedures. It also allows the hospital to really undertake a much more a complex set of procedures, you know, endoscopy, uh, all kinds of work around, you know, surgery that has not been available because simply they they couldn't, you know, open someone up to take care of them and then send them right home. So that that really dramatically expands the the array of options at the facility. The, the it has the ability to grow to up to twenty five inpatient beds if Berkshire Health Systems deems that necessary. But for the time being, they're starting with the 18 beds and and going from there. In my conversations with the staff at the hospital and administration, we heard about a bevy of internal testing in addition to all the external licensure issues. But they're trying out all manner of different surgical scenarios, uh, what it's going to be like to transport folks down to to Berkshire uh, Medical Center down in Pittsfield, what it's going to be like to send folks off to Bay State in in the Pioneer Valley. They're they're really doing tests on the facility just to make sure that the the, the full suite of available options are, are ready to go when the hospital opens up this month. That's WAMC Associate News Director Jim Lavoulis, who was Berkshire Bureau Chief at the time in 2014 when North Adams Regional Hospital closed, and our current Berkshire Bureau Chief, Josh Landis. Fellas, thank you both so much for your reporting on this story, and thanks for your time. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Okay, that does it for this episode of the WAMC News Podcast. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, I'm Ian Pickus.